Thank you. Okay. Yes, please pass these three or four more. The next one. And next one, please. Next one, please. Okay. As this here, uh, you can see here how a, a magnetic field works when you're using in this iron speeds you see here how it works in the movement of this okay this is very important to understand the physics of this therapy in the focus field applicator you see how it's movement the movement of these iron iron uh, points and you see how it is the um, this is the diametric and the and the movement are completely in the synchronization of this okay next one please what about the, the, the advantage of magnetotherapy? Uh, you have to remember that this is not new because we are using this uh, in different other fields of medicine, you know, in rehabilitation also. But the most important means for this the advantage are that um, there, there are a lot of um, promoting the, the self reparation of the tissue using this technology. But um, most important for us is to say that it's not virtually no contraindications using this, okay? It's not, you don't have any um, a specific objective to for replacing any method of conventional therapeutic before, but instead this is going to complement, complete and complement every therapy and you can find a best performance and result of this. Also it's a painless therapy and it's a simple and fast execution for both for the patient and the, and the operator. And you don't need to have a direct contact with the patient's body to do this therapeutic effect. This is very important now in this time because after COVID, we are going to see that there are going to be a lot of problems with the contact with the patient. And this is very, very important to take on count, okay? It has a high penetration power with using this. And all of the treatments, uh, our defects are obtaining always last beyond the end of the treatment. They are going to, to last a period of time that we have to manage in each case. This next, please. When we talk about technology, we talk about uh, electromagnetics. We are talking about something that is very known in medicine. In, in, as a, in diagnosis, you know, resonance nuclear magnetic is you, you can use this as a diagnosis method. But in those cases, you are talking about electromagnetics in the mode continue. It's not pulsed, okay? And this time is a pulse device. That is the difference between a diagnosis and the therapies, and also the approximately high of uh, intensities that you are working on, because if you are working under three Teslas, it's very safe for this kind of treatment. Please continue. Though, of course, the, the, the effects are different. There are biochemical effects, cellular effects, tissue effects, and systemic effects. So you have to be related with all of this terminology to to explain to your patients what is going on in each period of treatment, okay? So there's going to, these this fundamental effects are based in the deviation of particles with electric charge in motion. That's the reason that we can stabilize, stabilize these membranes and this charge of, uh, that will explain how we use this as a neuromodular treatment, okay? And the production of inducing currents are intra or extracellular, okay? This is very important because uh, the, the results of, of those effects, when you use that in the mode of the contraction is different and we use in the mode of modulation because they are, uh, although they are produced by the same device, they are, dif they are having different effects, okay? So the most important following effects that we are going to, to see in these therapies are the general stimulation of the cellular metabolisms and the normalization of the alterate membrane potential. Important to explain how the pain is going to be controlled with this therapy. That's the real fact because if you see here in the membrane, you see the change of in the of different uh, ions that we are going like sodium and potassium and calcium that are going to be in an equilibrium because that's the, that's how we you control the neuromodulation in this in this therapy. Please change. 
And remember that this high power electromagnetic generator is really important to have the correct dip in this uh, indication of this therapy. The electromagnetic field interacts with the human body, causing, remember, the polarization of the neuromuscular tissue. That's why Caroline said before, when you're using that for the contraction, you can control not only the contraction, you can control also the relation of the muscles. And that explains how we could control this, not only for the hypertrophic and hyperplasia of muscles, also to control the relaxation because it's important in some illness like vaginism. And the parameters, of course, are in, the, in this therapy are controlled, are determined by the uh, frequency and intensity. And these two different parameters are going to be combined in the correct way to find different performance of treatments. Please continue. This is how, how Caroline said you are going to treat uh, different problems related with the urinary incontinence as a pelvic floor disorder and also in postpartum and postmenopausal women. This is the huge, huge uh, period of age, so we are going to, to treat largest of, the largest of population. The most important focus is in the stress urinary incontinence because, as you know, these are related with the muscles of the pelvic floor, but there are some good results also in mixed urinary incontinence and in urg incontinence as the neuromodulator therapy control the irritation of soft parts of the, uh, of the, in the vesicle area, okay? Uh, please, this, the next one, this is Caroline said, okay. Important, we are going to control in these patients, the uh, male in postpartum woman, all age and in postmenopausal, we are going to control different kind of symptoms related with these pelvic floor disorders on one condition, to improve the quality of life to give them self-confidence. They are not important illness, as you see when you're when you're talking about these indications. But the most important is that with this problem, with this uh, trust people are not going to, to live uh, comfortable. So we have to, to, to think about it. Next, please. So we are going to, the consequence and the, of this, we are going to control the laxity and we are going to produce a pelvic floor mus muscles re-education using these contractions and try to control uh, in this other part, not only in mucosa, in this other part, as a big hole to try to close the, this hole and control the problem of the incontinence. Next. Next, please. You can, you can see it in, in with ultrasound. You can see the, the change of this area. This is the objective of the, of the diagnosis and the control of the evolution of the patients. And you see the change when you use that, uh, this therapy, and see the change also in bladder. You can see this, please, next. And the most important is this. What is a supramaximal pelvic floor muscle contraction, okay? You have to see in this graphic, the most important thing, the, the most important message is that with common exercise, as a Kegel exercise, see in the, in, the, in, the left, in the left area, you can see only the intensity is not so high, but it's better than the normal contraction. It's, it's a little bit more, but never maintain in the long period of time. You see in the, in the right side, you see the, how it increase and continue Okay, the most important thing that you can't do that by yourself. So it's necessary this device to depolarize this, these muscle cells and they are going to produce this contraction maintained in the long period of time. That's why it works because it results in the hypertrophic and hyperplastic of these muscles. So for me, it's very important. In the law of, the, of this right side, you can see how an electrotherapist work is not going to control, is only controlling the high contraction, but never the how it lasts in, in a long period of time. Next, please. That's the reason that we can find the different, different concepts of the supramaximal contractions that can be used in other applications of this. But supramaximal means that something that you can control by yourself is producing by a device. Next, please.
The recommendation, uh, I'm not so agree with this uh, because this is the, the company recommendation about the therapies, six to eight to eight treatments uh, divided in at the beginning in two, two, two per week. But we are recommending now more than eight in some occasions. I'm going to give you my protocols about it. And also in some occasions, the first two weeks are doing two per week, but the next one and one per week. Why? Trying to not find difficult for the accommodation of the muscles that are going to incorporate it in this practice. So it's necessary to understand how it works. Please continue. Uh, there are difficult clinical students, as Caroline mentioned before. Please, the, the next one. And next one, please. These are commented, but and this one. The most important is the, in the last year, in July, that Caroline said before, but it included one that is very important, that this is able to be safely and effectively at the same time. Okay, this is the first study that uh, was uh, involved in the safely and it's very important to mention for this, okay. The different indications that we are working now is stretching incontinence and vaginal tightening in prolapse, anterior and posterior prolapse. It's really good, very good results when the, the, the surgery is not the first option. Uh, also in male erective dysfunction, vaginismo, mus and bulbodynia, and we are exploring new other uh, alterations with nerves here, like the pudendus pain uh, syndrome, okay? Next. This is our study. We use a quick questionnaire to, to find, I'm uh, going to show you our, our a short study that we made. Uh, we use this uh, quick questionnaire to, to find, next please, to find uh, not only the the kind of the, the which which kind of the incontinence we are talking and you know the first three questions are related with the stretchinal incontinence and the, and the three uh, more questions are the four five and six are related with arch incontinence and we can control not only the the, the diagnosis and also can control how it's going to be the evolution if you're going for five to one or to zero is a really good good result of the, your therapies Please continue. And this is our results. Very, very interesting. Uh, as you know, at the beginning, the baseline, we just see approximately 60% of the subjects in this 12 week follow up of the subjects experience urinary leakage often or all of time, as, as the quick test said before. Okay. And after these 12 weeks, after the six first treatments, only 6% experience urinary liquids often, okay? So the reuse is very important. And this, you see, that is going to be uh, very interesting, the decreasing of rate of the problem, and it's going to, to give to your patient uh, an increasing of quality of life. Next, please. What about our protocols? We never think that this therapy is going to work only uh, as a long therapy. Okay, we promote this in combination with different other like lasers or ready frequency because it depends on the grade of the, of the stretch you are in continents. You can solve this in combination of that because they are working in different areas. As you know, one is working in mucosa and the other is work, working in muscles. Maybe there is another thing that is working in the middle as like IFU. But if you have these two, we have very good results. And in prolapse, we increase the number of the sessions of the hyphen therapy, and you see the results are very really good. Please, next. And there are big difference between electrotherapy and hyphen, okay? Because electrotherapy is only working in the reduced group of muscles and is very superficial. The, its action is, is superficial layers of these muscles. So there is no other action as, as in, in an iPhone you see, as in over the vascularization, because as you know, when you use electromagnetism, you're going to move different charges of, uh, of this uh, as, as a ferrosum sin, sin, uh, of, the, of the blood. And you see how the magnetic effect of this ferro without heat and vasodilation, and that is important to avoid the fibrosis that can be produced of this. Next, please. 
You see here, please, if there's some two videos to see how we can control after six months and after six, five sessions of laser and six sessions of hyphen. Can you open the video, please? Okay. You see here how we use that, the Balsalva, you can see, you, you find the correct after these therapies. The problem is how much is going to, to long the, the, the period of, of the effectiveness of this, because this is not going to be as large if the problem is the important of this. But next, please. When we're talking about in a young woman after childbirth, you see here, uh, this is a very important case with uh, not only with a uh, with anterior prolapse, also with a posterior rectocellum. Uh, you see here, we can control, please, this is another video. Una, dos, tres, with the pressure is going to be controlled. Okay, in this case, you see this is a young woman, the, the period of effective, the effectiveness is going to be long and more than six, eight months, and then they are going to, to receive only uh, different um, sessions to, to, man to maintain this. Okay, next please. To finish, there is another indication, also in fertility disorders, selective dysfunction, dysmenorrhea, postpartum recovery, orgasmic dysfunction, and tonification of the pelvic floor is very common. As this is as we said always that this therapy could be a very good recommendation for each, for over the, all the populations, because this is a, the grand, the, the great uh, part of that is not, this is always forgot, forgotten. And we have to, to remember that the use of this can control different problems as a pain or back pains uh, in, in, in the future, okay? And also, of course, we are in now in going, introducing our studies in the pelvic floor pain syndromes. And this is with good results that we are going to publish in the future. Next, please. We will be offered to women and immediately, post, immediate, immediately postpartum as a prevention, as I told you, as a treatment of low incontinence with when we are talk, talking about a long therapy and of course in stationary incontinence only or associated with laser or radio frequency in pelvic floor health only for to, to try to control this and offering for all the population, it not depends of age and sex. And also, uh, this is going to improve in sexual activity, as Caroline said before. And there is a big and great adherence to this treatment. People uh, really love this treatment because it's not painful. It's not really uh, difficult with no known any kind of period of, of, of recuperation. Please, next. It's easy. This is a video too. Please, can you see there? It's easy, it's painless, it's comfortable, it's a fast treatment. Uh, people are uh, receiving this therapy dressed and can be reproduced uh, in, in different situations. And there are, of course, many indications about it. Next, please. You see, the, the, the lady is really relaxed, receiving the therapies, it's not, it's not a problem for, for them. Next one, please. Also for men, this is two guys are doctors for my team and they are receiving the therapies. As you see, and this is very important because you can offer not only for women, also for men, also for couples. This is now a new therapy that we are incursing and people are really happy with these results. Next, please. The conclusions, okay. There are a lot of benefits in the patients treated by this new technology. And the expectation is focused in the duration of the benefits, not in if it works or not. It works, but it's focused in the duration of the benefit. That's the reason that we are now uh, trying to investigate in the, if the number is only six, maybe in other cases, if more than eight, but we have to, to control it in the future. It's not an only treatment, except in some cases, the, 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 the real important case is in the after pregnancy is, is for only this treatment, not laser maybe, and is, uh, in the others is not necess is necessary to control it in the combination with different other technologies. Except in some cases of like the stress urinary incontinence, as, uh, as I told you before. We combine this therapy with other EVDs, focus it in the vaginal mucosa as radio frequent of laser as 
try to, com to control not only the mucosa, also the muscles together and find the best performance of the treatment, okay? There are other indications that have been developed as vaginismus and can control in the muscle relaxation. Why it works in vaginismus? Remember, we can control the contraction, but in, in with this th therapy, also we are involved in the control of the relaxation of the muscles. So, although she is going to contract involuntary, involuntarily, she is going to contract, produce the contraction of the muscle, this, con this relation control it could find that this is not going to be strong. So, the painful is going to be uh, really limited and is going to, to act and work as a feedback for our patient. It's not pain, not, although there are contraction, there is no pain, so there are going to be uh, some good reaction for the side, like psychological effects of the pain, okay? And of course, I told you that this treatment helps us to complement and commit to the physiotherapy of different pelvic floor exercises by patients. Of course, they are going to identify different muscles that they know, they didn't know that they, they have before. Next, please. Thank you so much. I invited you to, to visit my uh, my country. My uh, Spain is very beautiful. You have to come. And we have a new a new office in the, the north of Spain. This is Bilbao. Bilbao is a very beautiful city, 400 kilometers from Madrid. And this is a future, as a futurist uh, city. You see the Guggenheim Museum that I invite you to visit next time. Please call me and I will show you the, the best of this uh, Basque country, this is the north of Spain. Thank you so much.